I just pray that God will give me the wisdom to make this video in such a way that nobody will misconstrue the information I am trying to pass across. Amen. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze, if you're new here. And I noticed that in recent times, I haven't been saying this, but please, subscribe to my channel. I take God beg you, okay? Please subscribe to my channel. I do videos about motherhood, lifestyle, you know, just interesting content, okay? If you're up for stuff like that. Um, something happened with Cora in school, and I decided to, you know, talk to you guys about it. Um, more like, let me not say a warning, but more like, you know, an advice to people out there, especially people who watch us and people who watch us and have a connection to us somehow. Either your child is in my child's class or, you know, we're in the same church and we're in the same circle, you know, your child is friends with my child, then please, you have to be careful, okay? Please be careful of what you say to your child that can be said to my own child, okay? The other day, I was with Cora, you know, we were talking which I do from time to time. Normally, I talk with my kids, you know, almost every day. They come to my room. Like, I was telling them yesterday night that whenever we build a house, eh, maybe our room is going to be like one big hall. Maybe the whole top floor will be our room so that all of us will be in the same room, me and my kids, because they like my room so much. They don't want to leave. Time to sleep is wahala. You know, every time they're on my bed. So, but I love it. Let me know if I actually like it. So, we're just talking. I was trying to find friends for Cora outside of class, like people that she's friends with in school that we can organize play dates with outside of school, right? So there's a particular girl she's telling me about all the time. And from what she said about the girl, I actually like the girl, you know, so I wanted, I've talked with the girl a, a few times. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the girl's mother's number so I can organize a play date. And I was like, okay, Cora, who else is your really close friend? There's one friend you tell me about all the time that can I also, you know, involve her in the outside school play dates, right? And then Cora was like, um, yeah, I can involve the girl. However, that the girl's grandmother said that I am a shoshu, okay? So the girl's grandmother told the girl that Cora's mommy is a shoshu. I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but, you know, I asked Cora. When I first heard this initially, I was like, I don't, I, I was confused. Show, show how, like, what does that even mean? You know, and Cora was like, eh, she said that you're always showing your house. Okay, um, yeah, that she's always, I'm always showing my house, so I'm a show, show. Either I'm always showing off my house, or I'm always showing my, I don't know what that means, right? And it was a bit confusing because I was like, yes, I, sh I show my house, but I don't show my house in a way that you call it show, show. Okay, I don't, I, I, I've never done even a house tour. I don't think I've ever done a house tour. Um, when I tell you about renovations and stuff like that, it's just renovations and stuff. Like, I don't come here to show you that, okay, I don't know what a show, show means, okay? And even if that was what I was doing on YouTube, to me, it's not really a problem, okay? There are people who have content that is just based on luxury life, luxury living, what their house looks like, decoration and all that, and stuff like that, okay? People like Jackie Aina and people like that, they show you decor, nice house, nice everything, luxury living, you know, it's what is their niche. So it's not even a problem per se, but it's the way it was presented, like I'm a show off that I don't get, okay? Because I don't, I don't really think I show off, especially when it comes to my house because I've even told you guys that this house is rented though, and I don't really have much to show off here. It's even now I'm trying to renovate the house, okay? If there's anything I'll even say I show off, it's my farm. <laughs> it's my garden. And the reason why I would even call that one show off per se is because it's something that I consider as, oh, very, very nice. N not my house. Like, yeah, I might have done office tour, but that's to show you my setup. Not that I'm trying to... Anyway, like again, like I said, it doesn't even, I'm not even offended by that per se because I don't really care. You know, what you term show off is relative, okay? It's relative to you. The problem is when you say things to your child and you know that, you know how children are. There's many things I don't say to my children. In fact, there's many things I don't say in their presence because I know that, especially someone like Cora, Cora is old enough to decode some things even if you're not saying them directly to her, okay? So there are many things I don't say in her presence just because I know that she will fall my hand one day and go and say it outside, okay? That's, that's, that's children for you, especially children of that age. They don't really know what, is, what should be said outside and what shouldn't be said outside, okay? So 
I have a problem with, you know, a parent or a grandparent telling their child that kind of thing, knowing that, especially maybe the girl is friends with Cora, obviously, like I've heard about her several times. So it's possible, you know, at home, she was talking about Cora and then the grandmother was like, ah, Cora, your friend, her mother is a show show, that kind of thing. I feel like that's how the whole conversation came about, okay? And to me, it was quite, you know, odd, to say the least. Like, why would you be saying that, knowing that my child is going to you know, hear it, right? And for me, um, again, what the lady said to me is neither here nor there, like, uh, it's borderline, I can't say it's bad or it's good or whatever, it's just odd. It's, it just got me thinking, okay, the whole thing just got me thinking about, you know, this my channel and what I put out here, not because I feel like um, it will affect my child directly, okay? Anything I put out on my channel, I just want to say it out. I just want to say it now that anything I put out on my channel, I want to put it out, okay? So it's nothing like, oh, what if your child will see it one day? I want them to see it one day, okay? In fact, 90% of my videos, I make them with my child, with my children, my daughters at the back of my mind, okay? So it's not about whether they will see it one No, I want them to see it one day. Like I am making it for them to see one day, right? But what I'm thinking about now is how my channel and people that watch my channel how their interaction with you know my channel can affect my child okay what they say to their own children about my channel can affect my child not about what cora thinks about my channel directly does that make sense anyway because cora is a very smart girl and i'm really really happy about the response cora gave to the girl okay because i asked her what did you say when the girl said it, you know? And Cora said she told the girl, I'm going to play the video yourself because I had to, I told Cora to say it again so that I can, you know, video her and send it to Nello. So I think I'll just play that clip. My grandma said that um, my mom is, is a shobi shobi. Mm -hmm. And that I said it's not true because it's not every time that my mom shows her house. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she could be like doing makeup and saying something sometimes. She can just be telling her trip or, or whatever or whatever she has done. Sometimes she will be talking with people. So it's not every time that my mom shows her house. I was quite impressed with Cora's response, you know, especially for her age, right? I'm not, I don't think Eva or, no, Sophia is not even out of the question, okay? But I don't think Eva would have given such response. Eva would have just kept quiet, you know? But Cora told, said she told the girl that, you know, my, my mother is not just a show show. My mother actually does makeup sometimes, you know, does hair, you know, sits down and talks. She's, she doesn't just only show her house, right? And I was glad that Cora even recognizes that, you know, she, I was glad Cora knows what my channel is about, okay? She knows that my channel, you know, is not just about showing my house. You know, she knows what I do on YouTube, basically. Again, like I said, I don't even see show show as a bad thing because there are niches like that that it is all for luxury living all for showing you home decors or home arrangements or you know how they basically home content you know there are people that that is their niche so it's not a bad thing but i'm happy that Koran knows that that's not all i do she's aware of what i do on my channel and like what i was trying to say initially this particular instance is not really my main problem right it is what other instances can arise what other worse instances can arise from people who watch me that are you know that have an interaction with me either we're in the same circle or you know your child is in my child's class your child is my child's friend you know is what their interaction with my channel can actually cause for my child okay and let me just say this okay again it's not a warning per se but let me just put this out there i am going to arm my child with information and responses that may harm your child, okay? Not physically, I'm not saying that Cora will go and beat up your child or anything like that. No, I don't encourage violence or of any sort, okay? I don't encourage it except, you know, someone comes to beat you in here. But I don't encourage violence. So it's not that Cora will go and beat your child or anything, no. But I will tell Cora what to say to people who say some things to her that might land such people in therapy, okay? <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. I might tell Cora what to respond to your child that will make your child see you in a different light or will make your child, you know, start having issues that will need therapy to resolve or make your child start, you know, being revolting against you as her parent, okay? So, 
let us all be guided or be uh, guided okay let us all just respect ourselves okay again like i'm saying this particular instance is not the worst that can happen so i'm not really referring to this instance but if you know that your child interacts with my child please be careful what you say to your child about my child or about my child's about me i didn't say my child's parents about me or you know my husband or her, our family and stuff like that or even her siblings warn your children you know, when it comes to my children, I don't play, okay? There are a few things in this life that I hold really dear, and my children are basically on top of that list, okay? I used to say, oh, marriage doesn't define or marriage defines you. My own is motherhood defines me. <laughs> motherhood, being a mom, being a mom to my three daughters defines the hell out of me, okay? So, when it comes to that, I don't play. So, please be guarded and be careful what you say. There are so many things I don't even say to my child about other people's children, because I know that is it is it's not nice okay even when cora comes and says some things like for instance i might see a child in cora's class that is like morbidly ob ob obese or severely overweight i don't even say it in cora's presence when she's not there i might tell them that well Mom, did you see that child see how fat that child is but i won't say it in cora's presence because i know that she can decode it okay so that's just all this video is about please be careful um and it's not just for me it's for other youtubers out there other moms out there you know be careful what to say about people's children to, to your children it's, be careful about it because your children are going you know you guys know how children are they don't know how to keep their mouth they don't even know what is socially acceptable as what to say and what not to say they, they're still young i don't blame them i don't even blame the child in any way shape or form okay i don't blame the, the children in this case but you as an adult you should know what to say and what not to say okay when you see me because I don't know why I feel like I know who, who this person is, okay? And I'm hoping she comes across this video. Because there's an elderly woman that I always greet when I come to pick Cora from class. And I think her grandchild is in Cora's class as well. So, you know, and, and we greet well, though, pleasantly. So that's if it's the same woman, then that's weird. Because we actually greet ourselves well. And now that I think about it, does she greet me well because she knows me from YouTube? You know, because many people know me from YouTube, but they don't say it. And I don't mind, okay? Some actually say, oh, I know you from YouTube, I watch your channel. Even teachers, some teachers tell me, oh, I watch your channel and, and stuff like that. But if that is the woman and that is what she thinks about me, then that's weird because she doesn't show anything. Like, the way she talks to me and greets me, it doesn't show like she thinks anything negative about me. Maybe she does. I mean, human beings know how to pretend, okay? Maybe she does. But yeah, if you have anything negative to say about me, especially when you're misrepresenting me, then please say it to my face, say it to me. Trust me, I'll just laugh and pass. That's usually me. I'm always the one that will laugh and pass. Like, I don't take things to hard that seriously. But I'd rather you say it to me. Let me know how to handle it than for you to say it to your child. I'll not say it to my child. And then I'll now have to start, you know, dealing with such issues with my child. Like, I beg, we have enough wahala in this life. Don't add this kind of thing to it, okay? But anyway, that's it about this video. <laughs> This video, this video somehow feels like it's irrelevant, but I just had to say it, okay? Because I know that somebody out there needs this kind of information. Again, not just for only me, but for other moms out there, other people that are putting themselves out there. It's not easy to put yourself out there. It's not easy. So when you see people that are putting themselves out there, you know, the least you can do is encourage them, right? Or just be quiet. Just be quiet about it. You don't have to encourage, you don't, you don't have to encourage us. You don't even have to say anything. Just, you know, walk up past, basically, okay? Or leave it at adult level don't involve children i feel like you children is where you should draw the line with anything in this life when it comes to children please draw the line okay hold yourself you know restrain yourself when, whenever children are involved in anything okay yeah anyway if you don't subscribe to my channel this is the time to subscribe okay yeah you you know you did not subscribe after i say you subscribe you know yourself all right now is the time just click it just click it okay all right click it Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye.